What's up, dudes? It's Molly. I'm laying here in my bed. So, uh, yeah. Uh, just to set the record straight, I was doing uh, my transmissions last night, and I went to an old reading, and I was the reading, um, Can't Get You Out of My Mind, Double Bookend It with Enchiladas. <laughs> Double Bookend It with Enchiladas was the reading. And I'm looking in the mirror, a full length mirror might mean something. I'm just videotaping myself while my enchiladas were cooking. And I'll put a link to that reading in the comments of this. Uh, this is going to be short. But uh, I do have a hacker. Yeah, let's. I do have a hacker that does mess with my transmissions. Uh, and so last night I saw in that transmission, they changed. Where I'm talking about, uh, in the transmissions, that I have body dysmorphia. And the hacker, they change my starseed transmissions all the time. They delete them. They fuck with them. They do all sorts of things. But, um, the hacker change dysmorphia to dysphoria and I don't have body dysphoria I have body dysmorphia so what's the difference between body dysphoria or gender dysphoria and body dysmorphia so what I have is called body dysmorphia and I know it's not really bad for me I don't have it's not like super severe uh some people may be um have like uh, a pull to constantly look in the mirror and check themselves, make sure they're okay. Uh, just like really be obsessed with their looks. <coughs> uh, that's not how it affects me. When I look in the mirror, uh, it's and it's not like a super severe case. It's like I'm not quite sure what I'm going to see looking back at. Uh, it, it's always me. I know it's me, but it's like little tweak versions of me. I'm kind of like a weird. And I explain it in in um, the here's the deal with the mirror reading. And I'll put that down there too. And a lot of people, that reading got a lot of likes on it. I think a lot of people resonated with that. And when you go through uh, the spiritual awakening, sometimes... The clutches of that uh, body dysmorphia uh, lessens a little bit. So I'm not obsessed with my looks or anything like that. Uh, I just don't really know what I look like. Every time it's just a little bit kind of a different version of me when I look in the mirror. And I just kind of roll with it. And uh, I'm not super obsessed with mirrors. I don't. I don't really look at them that much. So that's how it affects me. Now, body dysphoria or gender dysphoria is when a person uh, is born in, in like the wrong body. They, they are like a transgender person will have body dysphoria. And so... They do, they do not feel like they have the correct body. And so that's the difference. And I'm not transgender. Uh, I was born female and I identify as female. Mm, I've given birth two times vaginally to my children. And uh, I do not have body dysphoria. I have body dysmorphia. <laughs> A little case of it. Yeah. So both issues are legit issues that people struggle with, um, but they both are different. Uh, and both people, yeah, may need a hug. <laughs> I hear that. Both people may need a hug. So, yeah, the... um. The hacker came in and changed my dysmorphia to dysphoria. 
Um, some the, the hacker is um, throwing monkey wrenches in my path, um, doing all sorts of things, trying to make it so people won't collaborate with me, and yeah, that kind of thing. Um, trying to make people think that I might be transgender. Uh, I'm not transgender. And furthermore, if you won't collaborate with a transgender person, I don't want to work with you. No, because I believe planet Earth is big enough for everybody, including transgender people. All right. Well, there's the end of the message. <laughs> I'm going to go look in the mirror and brush my hair. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Maybe I'll report back who's looking back at me. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a good day.